Okay, here we're going to solve the system of equations 7x minus 4y minus 2z equals 7, 8x minus 2y minus 8z equals 1, and x plus 2y minus 6z equals negative 6. So again, what I'm going to try to do is start off by creating a new equation where one of the variables has been eliminated. It looks like if we take our second and third equation, if we add the second and third equation, I see immediately that the, uh, the terms involving y will cancel out. So that's where I'm going to start. So if I add those two equations, 8x plus 1x is 9x, negative 2y plus 2y is 0y, Negative 8z plus negative 16z will be negative 14z. And 1 plus negative 6 will be negative 5. Okay, so now we've got an equation involving only x and z. I think what I'll do next is I'm going to take my first equation, 7x minus 4y minus 2z equals 7. And I'm going to take my third equation, and again, I'm going to try to get the terms involving y to cancel out. Well, if I add them immediately, they wouldn't cancel. But if I multiply both sides of my second equation by a positive 2, then they will. So we have 7x minus 4y minus 2z equals 7. And then we have 2 times x plus 4y minus 12z equals negative 12. Again, if we add those two equations, we've got 7x plus 2x, which is 9x. Negative 2z plus negative 12z will be negative 14z. And then 7 minus 12 will be a negative 5. So we've created a new equation, but Hey, actually, it's the same equation we had a second ago. 9x minus 14z equals negative 5. So if you, you know, if you think about taking those two equations, you know, if you multiplied one of them by a negative 1, we would have, say, the first one by negative 1, we would have negative 9x plus 14z equals positive 5. I almost, let's see, so then our second equation is going to be 9x minus 14z equals negative 5. If we add those two equations together, we would simply be left with 0 on the left side and 0 on the right side. And what this tells us is that there will be infinitely, there's going to be infinitely many solutions. So what we do is uh, we set one of our variables equal to a constant. I'm going to say let z equal the value positive a. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and solve for x in terms of a. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll solve for y in terms of a. So if z equals a, we've got our equation. Let's see, we would have 9x minus 14 times z, which is a equals negative 5. We could add 14a to both sides. And then if we divide by 9, we'll have negative 5 plus 14a divided by 9. So now we simply need to take one of our other equations involving y and figure out the value of y also in terms of a. I'm going to use my third equation. So we've got x, which was negative 5, plus 14a over 9, plus 2 times y, minus 6 times z, which we're letting equal the value of a. And now I need to solve for y. OK, so I think what I'm going to do here, just to get rid of the, the fraction, is I'm going to multiply both sides by 9. So when we distribute that, we'll have negative 5 plus 14a. The 9s will just cancel out. 9 times positive 2y will be positive 18y. 
And then 9 times negative 6a will be negative 54a. And 9 times negative 6 will be negative 54. Well, let's see. So we've got um, negative 5. We've got a positive 14a minus 54a. That's going to leave us with a negative 40a plus 18y equals negative 54. Getting, getting closer, so let's see. If we add 5 to both sides, negative 54 plus 5 will be negative 49. I'm also going to add the 40a to the right side. And we've got 18y still left on the left side. So if we divide both sides by 18, we'll get that y equals negative 49 plus 40a divided by 18. And now we've got our solution. We can write our generic solution. We said x was negative 5 plus 14a divided by 9. The y value will be negative 49 plus 40a divided by 18. And then we said the value for z, we were just letting that equal a. So now we've got uh, uh, the form of our solution. So if you wanted some specific solutions, you could start picking values for a. You could let a equal any value. That would uh, clearly determine z. It would also determine x and y. And you could figure those values out after a bit of arithmetic.